Now for product design, who has heard of uh, Karim Rashid? Uh, this is Karim Rashid. Uh, he's actually an Egyptian staying in New York. He is actually very well known uh, to create uh, free flow forms like that. Because uh, they are not, they don't have a particular function. Okay, in this case. However, because of his unique style, uh, all these companies start coming to him to create something unique for them. He has a very impressive uh, list of clients. And not only he designed products, uh, but um, mainly he's you know, spending more and more time doing interior design work. He's designing um, hotels, um, apartments, and if you look at all these previous things that he designed, now essentially what he's trying to do is that you know he provides a service to you to design something, but at the same time he's also pushing his product to you. And these products are made by another set of clients that commission him to do his product design. So he has a very impressive list of clients. Uh, as you can see, the full alphabet. Huh? So, same thing, okay, for product designer, the message is very simple. Uh, you must come up with a unique, iconic style. Uh, and then, for people to recognize that you have a particular style. And then the rest of, the, the rest of your life, you just wait. Right? People will come to you and say, hmm, can you create that unique style? That you have. Of course, as a designer and photographer, uh, I'm not asking you to stick to one style. Okay, you, you must evolve as a, as a creative person. But um, this is an example to show you that for individual who, who, who is able to capture or to um, come up with a unique angle or unique um, concept, they are able to basically leverage and maximize uh, what they have. Now, okay, visual communication. Uh, this is a bit tricky. Huh? Um, visual communication, the very nature of it is, it is a service. Because most of the big companies that uh, are in graphic design, if you look at them, they are providing a form of service to their clients. Whether it's designing a book, you know, down to designing a reading card, uh, they are doing the work for their clients. It's extremely <coughs> difficult for a visual communication or graphic design firm or advertising firm to have a product. Because the minute you do that, your client will say, mm -hmm. so you are a product company or you are doing something that may be in conflict with us. Now, even one of the more famous uh, companies like Pentagram, they started in 1972 uh, in UK, uh, largely providing uh, graphic design work. But over the years, they have evolved. Now they are also doing exhibition, they are doing a bit of product development as well. Um, as you can see, uh, all they can publicize about their own work is a portfolio of work that they have done in the past. However, all is not lost. I'm giving you an example of possibly how um, those of you in visual com can create products. You are looking at um, movie poster. Uh, in this case, is. Uh, one movie, but there are many variations. Uh, that's basically how Hollywood does it. Every time they release a, a, a movie, they will have different variation targeting at different territories. Right? Even within the US, they have different versions. Now, uh, a, a company in the US basically specialize uh, in creating movie poster. Their product is that they are able to design a whole series 
of movie-related marketing uh, collaterals. Although the film belongs to somebody, but their product in this case is we are the expert of marketing movie. <coughs> so they specialize in a niche and they, they, they kind of package that into their own product. <coughs>